Okay, this week we're playing bingo, and it's not normal bingo, it's a little bit different. It's something that we've done in class before, but I'll go through it again with you now. So importantly, over here, we have a range, and the range is between 30 and 65. So all the numbers that you pick on your grid need to be between 30 and 65. That's really important. So if you have a look at my nine numbers here, they all fit somewhere between 30 and 65. Now, when your parent or your older brother or sister call out a number, it's really important that you subtract six from it before checking your grid. I'll give you an example. If your mum or dad call out the number 37, you could put a line through the number 31 over here. If your parent calls out the number 66, you would subtract 6 from it and you could put a line through 60. If your parent calls out 49, you can't put a line through 49. You need to remember to subtract 6 from it before you go to your grid. So if I called out 49 and you subtract 6 from it, you would end up with 43. And 43 is not on your grid, so you would have to wait for the next number. If I called out 66, I could put a line through 60. If I called out 40, I could put a line through 34. If I called out 37, I could put a line through 31. Important that you check your range before you start. And it's also important to check what number you are subtracting by. So game two, subtracting by seven. Game three, subtracting by four. If you're having a blast of a time, uh, you are more than welcome to use these three grids to play um, three more games. You could even make up your own range and make it plus six, plus seven, and plus four, just for something different.